Hi everyone, welcome back to our channel Dentistry to the point. So next we we'll move on to secondary resistance and retention form. Now we already studied about the primary resistance and retention form. Now what are this secondary resistance and retention form? So these are some additional features which are to be added in compound or complex cavity preparations like involving more than one surface that is buccal surface along with occlusal surface that is compound cavities or both the proximal surface and occlusal surface that is complex cavities or MOD preparation you can say mesio occluso distal so in such preparations you need to provide some of the features or characteristics in the cavity so that you can enhance the resistance and retention of the restorative material now what are those structures which you can incorporate that is you can incorporate grooves slot retentive locks pins skirts amalgam pins beveled enamel margins enamel wall etching denting conditioning and adhesive luting cement so firstly starting with grooves so grooves are nothing ye kya hote they are just vertical indentations kya hote ye ये एक वर्टिकल इंडेंटेशन से जो आप प्रोक्सिमल सरफेस पे बनाओगे मतलब प्रोक्सिमल सरफेस से फेशियली और लिंगवली आप बना सकते हो ऑन द एक्सियो फेशियल एंड एक्सियो लिंगवल वॉल सो दिस इज योर प्रोक्सिमल व्यू ऑफ द कैविटी सी दिस इज योर जिंजायल फ्लोर दिस इज योर पल्पल फ्लोर एंड दिस इज योर मेन कैविटी दिस इज योर जिंजायल फ्लोर सो ऑन बोथ द एंड यू मेक अ वर्टिकल इंडेंटेशन इन टू द डेंटीन पॉइंट फाइव टू वन एम एम दैट विल बी योर ग्रू so these are made on facial and lingual aspect as i said vertical indentations are made in class 2 the grooves which are made in class 2 will be in the form of vertical but those in class 3 cavities and class 5 cavities are called as or they will be made as horizontal indentations next they provide additional retention and resistance form to the cavity so this is the main purpose of grooves along with that you can also make sometimes coves now coves are some minor triangular indentations which are made on the incisal aspect of class 3 cavities specially so these are grooves and coves now next is slot now what a slot you can see this is the occlusal view of a tooth the cavity is made over here in between i have not drawn it but along with the cavity you can also make slot So these are made vertically from the occlusal aspect, one to one point five mm deep. So they can be made on occlusal surface. They can be made on buccal axial wall or lingual axial wall. They are mainly used in amalgam and cast restorations. This may use होंगे amalgam restorations में और cast restoration में. इससे क्या होगा? They are going to increase the resistance because more amount of material will get incorporated in this. so they are going to increase the resistance form along with that they are also going to increase the retention form of the cavity so these are slots which are made next moving on to the retentive locks now what are retentive locks these are usually done for class 2 proximal boxes which are wide you have such cavities in which more amount of tooth structure is involved so the proximal box you have to make a little bit wide than the conventional one So in that case, you can provide retentive locks on the proximal box of the preparation, and also it is done in cusp capping cases. Cusp capping cases that means if you are making a crown cutting or if you are doing a crown preparation, in that cases also if you are just capping the cusp, not sorry, not the crown preparation, only in the cusp if you are capping. So in that also you can make retentive locks because there are less chances of getting enough retention. in the cases of capping the cusp because you only structuring a single cusp over there so to provide additional retention you can provide with retention locks so these are the three structures grooves slots and retention or retentive locks next are the pins now pins can be used in amalgam restoration composite restoration or cast restoration you can say so for pins you can have to make vertical slots into the restoration or denting and the pins are incorporated into the tooth and then the material and the, then the cavity is restored so the pin retained restorations will provide additional strength or resistant it will resist the masticatory forces which will act on the restorative material so pins are going to get incorporated into the tooth 1 to 1.5 mm into 0.5 to 1 mm into dentine 
and they can be used in amalgam composite or cast restoration you can see the diagram of pin retained restoration i hope you guys are getting next are the skirts now skirts are additional preparation they are going to cover extra amount of tooth surface additionally whatever you have prepared along with that usse zyada kuch aur area mein agar preparation karna pade that will be in the form of skirts Mainly they are seen in cast restoration. Cast restoration ke cases में आपको skirts prepare करने पड़ेंगे because they are going to provide additional resistance and retention form to the restorative material. ये क्या करेंगे जो तो आपका normal preparation तो है ही उससे ज़्यादा कुछ areas में और prepare करवाएंगे so that there also material will be incorporated and resistance also increases. Next moving on to amalgam pins. अब amalgam pins क्या रहेगी? कोई भी कैविटी में आप वर्टिकल स्लॉट बना दो एंड इन दैट इफ यू फिल दैट स्लॉट विथ अमालगम अलॉन्ग विथ दैट कैविटी सो द पिन शेप विच इज फॉर्म फ्रॉम अमालगम इज कॉल्ड एज अमालगम पिन बहुत सिंपल है एक कैविटी में आपने स्लॉट बनाया उस कैविटी के साथ उस स्लॉट को भी आपने अमालगम से रिस्टोर कर दिया तो जो पिन बनेगी जो पहले पिन दूसरे मटीरियल की थी वो अमालगम अमालगम की बन गई सो देर अमालगम पिन सो In simple terms, you can call it as vertical post of amalgam, which is anchored in dentin. It is always usually going to be made in dentin only using inverted cone bar. Inverted cone bar use करके आप dentin में एक slot बनाओगे उसमें amalgam fill कर दोगे. You can see the diagram of amalgam pins. Also, next is bevel enamel margin. अब जो भी आपकी cavity की margin रहेगी, if you bevel, if you make a bevel on the margins of restoration. Even the beveling is done on cast restoration or fixed partial dental, fixed partial, I mean crown preparation also. So mainly beveling which is done for the composite restoration also. So why is this beveling done? This is done for the closer adaptation of the restorative material with the tooth. जो भी आपका tooth है उसके उसका restorative material closely adapt हो जाए उसके tooth surface. That's why beveling is then as much as the restorative material adapts closely to the tooth that much will be the retention form and also resistance form of that material and micro leakage ke chances bhi kam ho jayenge next enamel wall itching in many of the restorative materials like composite if you want to do composite restoration then you have to etch the enamel wall also denting conditioning with the use of etchant or primers will also enhance the resistance and retention form and lastly various adhesive luting cements are also used which increase the retention and resistance form of the restoration so these were the 8 to 9 characteristics or features which you can incorporate in your crown sorry not crown cavity preparation so this ends with the seventh step of cavity preparation Next